Good morning, everyone. Um, my message this morning is um, going to be very brief. I had a break, so um, I wanted to come before you this morning to stress to the body of our Messiah how important discernment is in these end times. Um, it is uh, pivotal now more than ever that we have a heightened level of discernment. Um, it is a critical period. We are in a critical period of time where we need to be able to hear the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, um, now more than ever, so that we will be guided and led in the way that we should go, that we will have righteous counselor, that um, we will uh, be able to overcome sin, um, not continuing to fall for the tricks of the enemy. When you have his Holy Spirit and you are the vessel that the set apart spirit of Yah dwells in, okay, you have power. You have power, you have counsel, you have counseling, you have an indwelling and embedded counselor that will counsel you, that will help you to be able to discern or to distinguish that which is of Yah from that which is not. And this is the reason why I question why many um, who cannot stop sinning and who can who have not overcome sin. Um, the reason why I question why many, uh, if they have the set apart spirit or his Holy spirit at all. Okay. Because if you can't stop sinning, that means you have no power to do so. Um, there are some changes that will have to be made in your life in order for his spirit to dwell in you because he gives his spirit to those who obey. And so having said that, if um, when you have his spirit, you have the ability to overcome sin. You are an overcomer. You are not continuing to keep falling for the same tricks of the enemy. Um, you know, and you're able to recognize um, that uh, something or uh, someone is not of Yah. When you hear something, even if you don't even have the understanding, if you have his rock, your spirit will be quick and you will be unctioned like, uh, uh, no, don't go there. You know, don't listen to this. We have to now be able to guard our eyes and our ears and our heart now more than ever. The enemy, Satan is coming for the people of Yah, those who keep the commandments and who have the testimony of Yeshua HaMashiach. Those are the ones that he is coming for. And so we're not safe just because we're serving Yah and we're walking in truth. This is just the beginning of our woes and of the troubles um, we're going to face. We're, Yah is going to allow trials and he's going to allow tribulation um, to come into your life to, to, uh, to test you. To see if you will obey him. Okay. And so having said that. That's leading me directly into. Um, what this coming Sabbath lesson will be. This coming Sabbath lesson. Is going to be. Um, a revealing so to speak. Of something that the father Yah brought my attention to. As it pertains to. His seventh day. Of rest that he has commanded. And his chosen people. And not only that. Um, the connection to what this day will mean in the future, whether you're chosen Israel or you're just a part of the body who um, who keeps his commandments. So um, for those of you who do not believe that it is necessary to honor the fourth commandment, you, you, you do not believe that it is necessary to keep his seventh day Sabbath. Um, this teaching is going to challenge you. Um, in your belief, if you say that the Bible is your authoritative word that you submit and yield yourself to, I want to be able to show you 
um, the importance and the significance this coming Sabbath with the teaching that I'm going to do. It won't be long, um, but it will be impactful. I want to show you the importance and the significance of keeping it and what it not only means to uh, Yah uh, when you do not honor it, but what it says about you um, and your uh, faith. Okay, trials and uh, testing is necessary to prove your faith and to prove whether you will obey him or not. It was something, it was the first thing that Yah brought me into his truth with, and it was also the first thing that Yah used when he brought the children of Israel out of the uh, wilderness and brought them um, uh, to unto himself. It was the first, the Sabbath was the first thing that he used to test them to see if they would obey the rest. And so uh, this lesson will be coming this Sabbath, and it, it will premiere later on uh, Saturday night. And so I pray that you will enjoy the rest of your day. Make sure that you uh, put on and keep on the whole armor of Yah. Watch your ears and your eye gates. Yah says that if your eye, if you have an evil eye, your whole body is dark. The enemy is going to use a lot of things. He is going to come at us. And I'm, I'm very concerned because the body, we're just not ready. Many of us are praying for Yeshua's return. You need to stop praying for his return because many of you are not ready. We're, we're not ready. We still uh, can't recognize evil when we see it, whether it's in music, whether it's in television, whether it's in entertainment, whether, I mean, we can't see it. I, I just did a teaching on the Bitmojis and the avatars, you know, the things that we do on social media, the, the, um, the, the, the witchcraft and the astrology and the psychic things that they have on Facebook and on these things to engage you to and to entertain the things that Yah has told us to stay away from as it pertains to idolatry and um seeing psychics and mediums and so and many of our people who have changed their names of Israel and Shalom and Canaan got their hair wrapped and cannot recognize the enemy when he is sitting right in his face. I am extremely concerned. We need to be praying now more than ever that we that Yah will give us a heightened level of discernment and that we we really need to be sitting still and quiet so that we can hear the voice of Yah and be led in every decision that we make in our life. And so please um, when you, uh, if you're not able to join us live, check out the teaching. It will premiere Saturday evening and I pray that you enjoy the rest of your day. Shalom.